Number 63, calculate the delta H for the process and then they give us the formula that they want. We need to calculate the delta H for SB solid plus five over two Cl2 gases and when they combine, it will make SbCl5 solid. Now here's the thing, we can have to find the delta H from the equations that they gave us with their delta H values. This is Hess's law. This is basically, I think, the first Hess's law problem that we've done in this chapter or on the playlist. So I promise you it's going to be pretty simple, all right? I got you guys. It's going to be a puzzle, and we all know that I love puzzles. So let's write down what I want. Now I'm going to say over here, you know, just to highlight it, I want SB. Now do I really care about the states? In this case, no, because they're all different substances. I just care about who's the compound or the element and how many I need. Okay. So now, Hess's law, let's do it very systemized, guys, okay? Because that's how we'll get the answer correct all the time. When you're looking at your formula that you want, always work from left to right. So I don't even care about these two components. I basically only am looking for this one right now, just the SB, okay? So I say two things here. I say, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm looking for an SB, and I want it on the reactant side. You see how it's on the left side? So I'm just going to say that I want one of these, and it's on the left side. So I say L for left, and then I just say how many I need. So I say 1L. Now I go to the two equations, and I search for the equation that has just the SB in it. Which equation do you think we're going to use? Let's call this equation number one, and let's call this equation number two. Which one am I going to take? I'm going to take equation number one, because this is the only equation that has that SB. This doesn't have SB. It has SBCl3. It has SBCl5, but not just the SB. So I'm going to take this information, but now it has to match. I want one SB and I want it on the left side. What's going on in this equation? How many SBs do I have? I got one, cool. And is it on the left side? Yeah, it's on the reactant side, so it matches. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rewrite the first equation. So maybe I'll do that one in red. So I got SB plus three over two, Cl2, yields SbCl3, and now I'm going to put the delta H value. I did not do anything to this equation, so this stays exactly the same. Cool. Now I can put like a check mark here, or you know, do whatever you gotta do, but we're not focusing on this anymore. So now I pretend I'm still working from left to right. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. The only thing I'm looking for is the Cl2. Now here's a trick, guys. We're looking for Cl2. So now I go back to the two equations, and I look for the one equation that has the Cl2 in it. But if you've noticed, there's a Cl2 in number one, and there's a Cl2 in number two. When your compound that you're searching for is in both equations, skip over it. It's too hard. Skip over this one. It will work itself out in the end. So let's just not worry about this one for now. Yeah, so I'm gonna skip over this one. And now the last compound is this one. So let's see, I do the same idea. I'm looking for an SBCl5. I look for equation one and I see it, you know, in equation two. Which one am I gonna use? The SBCl5 only comes up one time on equation number two, right? It doesn't come up on equation number one. And now we just have to see if it matches. How many SBCl5s do I want? I just want one of them because there's no coefficient here. And what side do I want it on? I want it on the product side, so the right side. Let's see, does it match? Yeah, I have one here and it's on the right side. So I don't have to do anything with equation number two. So maybe I'll write that one in blue. So I'm gonna just rewrite equation number two.
Delta H has to come along with it. Okay. Now we're at the end of the road. There's no other compounds, so I'm done. Don't go back, all right? So just say, okay, call it a day, and hopefully, if we do it right, it will come out to the equation that you want. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this like this. Okay, so now I'm going to add this all up, and let's see. Ooh, that, was, that was an ugly line. There we go. Now cancel things out that are on opposite sides. Now, looky here, I have an SbCl3 on the products of the first one, and I have an SbCl3 on the reactants of the second one. Those get canceled. Things that are on opposite sides that are the same, they get canceled. Now, in this case, I have Cl2 and Cl2 on the same side. That's addition. So you don't cancel these out, you actually add the coefficients together. Nothing else I could cancel, so let's just rewrite it. I got 1SB plus, now 3 over 2 plus basically 1, right? If you wanted to do this in a decimal form, you could just plug in 1 plus 3 over 2. If you wanted to do it in fraction form, this would be the same as 2 over 2, right? Because 2 over 2 is equal to 1. And then if you add fractions together, you keep the denominator, right? So the 2 stays. And then you add the numerators. 3 and 2 is 5. And now I get the SBCL5. And look, this is exactly the equation that I want. So all I got to do now is just add up the delta H's. So it would be 314 plus 80. So negative 394 kilojoules, and that is your answer. So calculate the delta H. We have to do Hess's law to get this number. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help us out, tell your friends. Tell your classmates. Maybe they would, you know, want to see this cool channel. I think it's pretty cool. All right. We also have physics and math videos at the moment. So go check the channel out. All right, guys. See you all in later lessons. Have a great day. Bye.